So John, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with PMP Pro. Okay, well I've been involved for, well, since early 2007 and I was nominated to be Oxford's representative on a working group of different NGOs who wanted to improve the way that NGOs manage projects. And that's because of my background, I was the regional program manager for Oxfam, managing the program portfolio in Mexico, Central America and the Caribbean. And then I was managing the program management system and, and now I'm, I'm managing a, a global program with projects in 17 countries. So how do you think the PMD Pro is going to make a difference to NGOs? I think it's got the potential to make a huge difference because currently there is no standard, it doesn't exist. There is no way that a project manager for either an international NGO or a local NGO can show that they are um, a certified project manager. It's just experience or they can do some an industry standard, but that's much an industry standard is too expensive for uh, local NGOs based in developing countries. So I think we've got something that is appropriate and that PMD Pro is contextualised, it's talking about project management in the development contexts. And it's accessible because you can do it, you, know, you can do it on the web, and you can download all the materials for free. And it's affordable because I mean the, the, the fee structure for doing the certification is, is cheap enough to allow local organisations to do it. So that's great. So it's it, I think it's accessible, it's affordable, it's appropriate, and I think if we can develop this into a standard, it's going to make a difference because this really focuses on delivery. This is about trying to improve the way that we actually deliver projects in the field. And it's not looking at you know, new ways of analysing poverty or policy analysis, it's about delivery, it's about doing what we say we're going to do. And I think that is something that is so important. I mean, if we don't do what we said we were going to do, we can't even start to talk about accountability um, um, to people living in poverty. So th this has got the capability and potential to be a framework to really allow the development of individual and organisational capacity in project management. So, where can we learn more about this? Well, in lots of ways. Um, there's the uh, APM group website, that's one source. There's also um, a, a group called PM for NGOs on LinkedIn, but the easiest place to go for more is www.pmforngos.org and there you can do a sample exam, you can find out um, what you have to do. You can also look at videos that take you through the whole curriculum and you can download the materials for free, which is important because this is something we said all along. This has got to be, you know, the materials have got to be available free of charge. So that people who are from the developing country who want to learn more, even if they don't want to do the certification, can. So that's what I really recommend people do and really appreciate the feedback.